Skyme Connect is our online transition to high school program. We first launched this program back in 2014, and it was a complement to our Head Start to High School program, with the aim to allow our year six students to continue building on those positive relationships that they were forming with their new peers, as well as with their new year advisors through Head Start to High School, and to learn all about what it means to be a student at Gaimi Technology High School. With the challenges that this year brings to us, Gaimi Connect has now been enhanced to ensure that we are still able to forge those positive relationships and allow our Year 6 students to feel connected to their new school. So research tells us that students who feel connected to their school and who understand the expectations of them as students of their school are generally happier, they're more motivated, and they're more willing to push themselves outside of their comfort zones. And this is exactly what our Gaimi Connect program aims to do. By using Edmodo, which is a freely available learning platform, we're able to provide our Year 6 students with that anywhere, anytime access to their new school, to their peers, and to let them learn what their new school is all about, the teachers who will guide them along their high school journey, and the expectations of them as students of Gaimi Technology High School. It builds that sense of connectedness with their new school before they land with us next year, so that when they do, they feel more comfortable and they feel like they're in a place that they know and they understand what's expected of them. So why Gaimi Connect? Our students are digital natives and increasingly they use a range of social media platforms to connect with each other regularly. As a school, we also utilise multiple online learning platforms through Moodle and through Google Classroom to provide our students with that anywhere, anytime access to their learning. Gaimi Connect not only allows our new students and their families to stay connected with us and learn about us as they do, but it also provides a chance for us to begin those important discussions about being a safe, respectful and successful Gaimi student in every aspect of learning. Gaimi Connect is run by the Year Advisors of our new Year 7 group, with the activities and the communications that are through this group continually being developed, set and monitored by them. All student interactions on the site can be seen by the Year Advisors and it provides us with a unique opportunity to begin those important conversations about being responsible and respectful digital citizens with our new Year 6 students. Edmodo allows us to create a learning platform that's accessible to our students from outside of our school. And that allows us to create a monitored online learning space that all of our new year six students can connect to, irrelevant of the primary school that they're coming from. Each week, we will set a number of tasks for our new students to complete that will help them to learn about their new school. It will also provide us with some information about our new students' learning. These tasks will include a strong focus on digital citizenship, on literacy and numeracy skills, and it provides our Year 6 students with an understanding of the types of skills that they need ready for next year. Through this program, we are also able to model to our new students the importance of being organised with their learning to ensure that they're keeping on top of their weekly online tasks. And this is an important aspect for them as they become a high school student and they learn to manage the increased demands of homework and assignments that come with high school learning. So it also acts as a little bit of a precursor for our New Year 6 students into what that side of learning looks like for a high school student. It also acts as a communication board for our year advisors who are able to send key messages to their new year group about things that they need to know or get ready for for their new high school. So let's take a tour of Gaimi Connect. As mentioned in your introduction email that came home early last week, you can access the Edmodo group by the website that's listed on your screen. 
and using that unique username and password that was allocated to your child and listed in your email. So if you're having any troubles logging in, please make sure that you call the office and ask for Heather who can assist you and reset your password if need be. Firstly, as I mentioned, Guide Me Connect is our communication board to our New Year 6 students. And it allows us to post information, questions, important messages and the like to our students and keep them informed as well as let them learn about us as they work through the program. It acts very similarly to a Facebook news feed where students can scroll through all the posts that are made in date order so they never miss out on anything, even if they can't log in for a few days. Anything that we post will remain on that feed, so students are able to scroll all the way back to the very first post if they need to. From a student's perspective, they can also customise their account a little bit to make it feel a little bit more like theirs. And that includes being able to add a profile picture of something they would like to share. Many of our students like to post a picture of their pet or something that they're happy for the group to see about them. And they can share a little bit of information about them and their learning. So things like whether they're a more hands-on learner or whether they like to read information. They may even like to add something in there about what they aspire to be when they finish high school. So it gives our students a little bit of ownership over their own login and lets them personalise it to themselves. Our students are also able to post to the group. So it's not just our year advisors or our principal or our executive staff who can post. Our students are able to comment back to a post that we've made. And in some of the posts that we make, we will actually ask them questions and encourage them to respond to us. This allows them to provide us that information that they are connecting with our Guide Me Connect program, as well as answer some questions for us about their learning that they are doing while they're engaging with these activities we're providing for them. Students can also post their own messages directly to the group, and that allows them to ask their year advisors questions that they may like to have answered. Any post that is made by a student is monitored by our year advisors who are regularly on this site and they will remove anything if they consider it something that's not respectful or adhering to the group's digital citizenship space. So on that, every week there will be a series of tasks or quizzes for students to complete which will focus on building their skills in that area of particularly digital citizenship, but also in the areas of literacy and numeracy. So starting with our learning activities on digital citizenship, digital citizenship is about belonging to an online community in a safe and positive way. The digital citizenship tasks will focus on teaching our new students how to be safe respectful and responsible when they are interacting with each other online, as well as how to contribute to a supportive and collaborative learning environment within their peer group. It's something that we want them to have good skills in as they begin their learning journey at Guy Me Technology High School, as we do utilise two of our learning platforms regularly. And so that's something that they need to be well versed in. Gummy Connect will also allow our new students to test their literacy skills through a series of reading, comprehension and short writing tasks that focus on our positive behaviour for learning mantra about being a safe, respectful and successful student. These tasks will provide our new students with an opportunity to see the types of literacy tasks that they will engage with during their English studies at high school. And it will also provide us with some introductory information about their literacy learning as well. The third type of task that we will assign through the group is our numeracy tasks. And they follow a similar idea to our literacy tasks, allowing our new students to review all of the numeracy skills that are required for success in mathematics as they begin year seven. It utilises an online numeracy program that we use here at Gaimir with all of our students from years 7 to 10. 
It's called Essential Assessment. And the login that was provided to you for Guide Me Connect also works for our Essential Assessment platform. To access our numeracy tasks, our students need to go to the website essentialassessment.com.au as you can see at the top of the screen here. When they do, they will then be prompted to click on student login and enter their details from the original introduction email that you received. So it'll match their Guide Me Connect username and password with a school code 8386. Once students sign in, anything that we allocate to them will appear on the screen in front of them as a little blue dot. And that means there's a task waiting for them to complete. If they click into that area, they'll see the different tasks we've assigned to them. And every task will ask them to complete a pre-assessment before opening up new tasks for them in that topic area. So a pre-assessment is like a pre-test and it's just going to give them a range of questions on that learning area for numeracy techniques. They read the question at the top of the screen and they can even click a sound button to have it read to them if they wish. If they really don't know about the answer, they can click that little I don't know button down the bottom. They can use a sketch pad on the side of the screen if they want to do some working out. And then once they've worked through the question, they select their answer and then move on to the next question. And they complete the rest of the questions in that pre-assessment, which will judge their numeracy skills for that topic area. Once they've completed the pretest, it opens up new activities called My Numeracy Tasks for them. So they can click on My Numeracy and click on any of the subcategories within this topic and they will see tasks that have been assigned directly to them based on things that they didn't confidently answer in the pretest. So it individualizes the numeracy learning for our students and it allows our students to then go back and practice the skills that they need a little bit more assistance with. The beautiful thing about my numeracy tasks is that there are examples they can click on to guide them through the different types of questions that they will be presented with in those my numeracy tasks and hopefully allow them to self-regulate their learning a little bit more too. The third type of task that Essential Assessment offers to our students is practice at using their mental arithmetic skills. And this is through a little game type activity called Sunset Maths. So they are able to access these at any time they like, and it's a great opportunity for them to test their mental arithmetic skills. The final weekly activity that will be posted by our year advisors will be our interactive virtual lessons that our new students can watch and engage with every week. So due to the restrictions of visitors to our school site this term, we don't want our new year six students to miss out on that opportunity that our face-to-face -face Head Start to High School lessons provide. So we're bringing those lessons to our online virtual space. They're viewed through YouTube and students can move the screen around as if they are actually in that classroom. Our teachers have presented these lessons to our year six students, just as they would have at Head Start to High School and using some of our year seven and eight students allowed them to see what a lesson would be like here at Gaimia Technology High School. Each of our teachers has also created an accompanying quiz that will be posted on Edmodo to allow our students to feel like they're a part of that lesson and follow along with the learning in those lessons as well. Our year advisors will also be guiding a group of peer leaders who are our current year nine students that will be there to provide that student to student mentoring and guidance through our online learning community. Peer leading is something that allows our students to have someone they see who is a little bit more senior that they feel they can go to to answer questions. 
The aim of our peer leading activities is to model that safe, respectful and successful use of our online learning platforms. And the types of activities that our peer leaders will be guiding our new year six students through will focus on those aspects of being a safe, respectful and successful learner. It's going to allow our students to connect in smaller groups of peers and then connect as well with that student leader and learn a little bit about students that are currently here at Thymere, giving them a familiar face when they do land with us next year. So Gaimir Connect is also accessible to our parents as well. You can log in to your child's account at any time using the login information that we emailed home to you and see everything that your child has posted to the group and all of the activities that have been assigned to them. You'll be able to go in and see the types of things that they have done within those tasks and their results for those quizzes that we're setting for them as well. You'll also be able to see anything that they still haven't completed yet that they might like to go back and try. You can help them through this program by encouraging them to make sure that they are using this Guy Me Connect program in a safe and respectful way. You can also encourage them to get involved, have a go at the quizzes, have a go at the virtual lessons and be a part of everything that learning offers them at Thymi Technology High School. To give you a little bit of a taste of what the activities look like for our new students as they're completing them, we've actually created one of the tasks, which is the digital citizenship quiz that our students will be undertaking through Thymi Connect. And we've turned it into a Google form for you to access. So you can do so through this link or click the link below in the comments and it will take you to that form. When you complete the quiz, it will give you immediate feedback on what type of digital citizen you are and it will let you see the types of questions that we will be guiding your child through on how to be a safe and responsible digital citizen. So give it a go, give us your feedback and enjoy.